everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome back to you boys. In the last episode, we did some basic training, but coming up tonight, we're going out on our very first patrol. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game, everybody. We've got a brand new port. We are here in the beautiful coastal town of La Rocha, France. Oh, saucy. We find ourselves with a dockside full of weapons of mass destruction. Opportunity, but most importantly, semen. Every lots of semen everywhere. Look at them. Never have I seen such amazing semen before. So here's the plan. We're gonna jump on board the sub, get it ready for war, pick up our patrol, and head on out. Mr. Gibbs here is getting torpedoes loaded in and Jesus ready to get loaded. Yes, Gibbs indeedy. Good job. Can we get one more T1 in there, please, sir? Thank you. Our fuel is only 88%, so we should pick some more fuel up. Ship's discipline is only 96 percent oh that won't do what are you doing gibbs gibbs what why why are you taking that out gibbs i want that in there gibbs right torpedoes are ready radios checked up let's go ashore and pick up some supplies look at that magnificent vessel right there I haven't really got a name for her we typically like to call our ships like milky pickles or sea biscuits but when it comes to like submarines and warfare well they don't really have a name Anyway, we're here in the storage shed type thing because we're here for ammunition and stuff like that. Hello, Pickle. I'd like to buy some guns, please. Right, welcome to the shop, everybody. Look at this. Torpedoes, which are heads forward called Bruce's. Since we've got them loaded and ready to go, means we've got some empty slots. So let's go fill up some bonus Bruce's. We can leave with even more than we should supposedly have. For ammunition, we have ourselves some small caliber HE ammo and large caliber armor piercing ammos. Thank you, Pickle. You've been amazing as always. Right now, that's taken care of. We've got to go pick ourselves up a patrol. So, over to the dude by the car. Hello, sausage. Me and my seaman would like something to do, please. Well, here's the situation. We've got a patrol sector DH, uh, sector BE, and attack a Portsmouth port. Ooh! It's high difficulty. I'm not sure I'm ready for an attack on Portsmouth just yet. So I want to do your run-of-the-mill patrol for today, please. Your order will be to travel to sector DH on North Atlantic and travel 2,000 kilometers inside it to complete the patrol. You may be given additional orders after reaching the area. Thank you, Sausage. I won't let you down. We have a mission. We have stores. We've got supplies and torpedo bruises. It's time to leave port. Hey, okay, Sector DH, where is that? Where is our patrol? You see, aha, these squares, that's where we're going. Right, so we're going to go Hadonk out there. Hadonk, no, no, hang on. Hadonk there. Hadonk there. Head out here. Cut the corner there. Got a long way to go. Okay, 500 nautical miles that way. I guess head for the middle. Hadouken, that'll take us into our patrol region. Mr. Gibbs, give us slower heads. And with that, the engines starts up. And the U-boat that needs a name departs port on yet another amazing adventure. Pulling away from the harbor side, the seamen looking on willingly like, one day, boys, that would be us. Maybe we should just call it the Sea Biscuit, because I can't be bothered to think of more names. Besides, nothing imbues more threat and danger of a wild Sea Biscuit coming right at you with Bruce's loaded, ready for your broadside. So the plan is simple. I'm going to basically jump cut to where... And action gets going because we have a long way to go and we could be here all day doing cinematic camera passes which is super duper fun for me because i basically make movies with this game it's a cinematic experience i mean look at that oh being underneath a u-boat or a ship of any sort having it go over you how terrifying would that be well enjoy the view while it lasts everybody this could be very well the last time we ever see land ever again 12 out of 10 sailors that go out to sea always never return 100 percent of the time at least 80 percent of the time it's a little known fact but at the time they didn't know of such obscurities because of reasons and poor internet access right as we head out to our destination i think i should give you a quick tour of the submarine because we haven't really had a proper in depth look at everything that's going on inside here so this is the main control room where all the steering goes on a lot of navigating happens in here we've got some 
meat hanging from the ceiling for some reason. Because why not? Everyone likes hanging meat. It's like Christmas, but with meat. Now, I might be something of an idiot and 100% not an expert, but those circle thingies, they kind of control our planing. So they make the front and the back go up and down and stuff like that. And of course, a trusty periscope currently stowed away because we're not using it, but it's inside that shaft. The thing comes up and you can use it for all your heart's content. Over here, we've got air pumps, red light switch, twiddly things. There's quite a lot of twiddly things inside of submarines. No one really knows what they all do. Some say there's a magical wizard that will appear if you pull the right one, but only if you do it two turns to the left, one turn to the right. And of course, the chart maps, because everyone wants to know where they're going in life, but also to remember where they've been. Right, moving forward out of the control room, we enter into some kind of accommodation area. We've got radio guy there. We've got a listening post right there, followed by bunky beds and other la di -da accommodation. Want to play some card games? Well, that's where you go do that. Not easy being a sailor. It's cramped conditions. It gets smelly rather quickly, but it's also kind of cozy. Pushing forwards ever still, we have the main torpedo room. Oh, this is what they call the business end of the submarine. Those bunk beds all fold up to make way for the torpedoes. Did I say torpedoes? I meant Bruce's. We just got to pick them up, slide them in, and boom, ready for business. Oh, here we go. See, the beds have been lifted up, and he's sliding it back. Oh, the attention to detail in this game. Right, we're done in there. Let's head aft. So once again, passing through the main control room, we're heading aft into the aft accommodation. Nommy, nommy. Oh, that looks tasty. Being situated closer to the engine room, it's not quite so nice to be in this bit, but I suppose you get used to it after a while. Especially with such raunchy eyewear on the wall like that. Whoa, calm down, sailor. Oh, put the seaman away. Stepping aft even further, we find ourselves in a small little area. On the one side, we've got the hanging bananas, some storage lockers, but more importantly, we have a wild Bruce cooking away on the ship's kitchen. Cramped, smelly, and hot. One can only imagine what it'd be like to be in such confined quarters, especially under a battle. You got a hot pot going on, bit of a bumpy water comes along and ploosh! Oh, I'm burning! Ah! But with that aside, we're heading aft into the main engine room. Very noisy in here. Many people would go on to either get tinnitus or to lose their hearing entirely. I don't know what else to say, really. It's an engine room. It's loud and it has engines inside of it. What more do you want from me? But then heading into the rear of the... S <laughs> And then heading into the rear of the submarine, we have an aft torpedo <laughs> It doesn't get any better. We have the aft compartment. It's got a single lowly torpedo tube. I mean, it's there kind of like as a, oh no, something snuck up behind us. We haven't got time to turn around. So let's go kill it kind of torpedo tube. That's what that bad boy is. And yeah, that's the full length of the submarine. There's just one little area left to go and we're done. Returning to the control room, we have, of course, the conning tower up that ladder just there now i seem to recall this area also being known as the captain's bridge because you can kind of come up here lock the door and have a bit of privacy kind of i think but anyway up here we have an attack periscope ready for spying those bad guys and we have a cheeky gibbs working away he's a lucky sausage being up here and with that said and done the tour is over so now you know exactly what's going on inside the sea biscuit you broke version and with that said and done let's go to war right we're inside our search area everybody and we've picked up an unknown transmission new contact unknown group that's what i want to hear Group detected, but where? Oh, perfect. Dead ahead of us. Oh. Right, men, wake up. Get out of bed. Uh, you go man the targeting site, please. Gibbs, give us forwards free for now, please. Oh, screw it. In for a penny, faster, in for a pound. Faster. Oh, help an ally. Oh, no. We were attacked by aircraft and sustained heavy damage. We are out of uh, replacement parts. We're asking for help. Meet us at 32 North 19 West. No, I'm busy. Oh, God damn it. The target we're heading for is that bloody U-boat that's in trouble. I'm here to sink ships, not give band-aids. After what felt like an eternity, the Sea Biscuit arrives on the location of the stranded U-boat. The two U-boats came side by side, ready to help each other. What could possibly go wrong? They thought to themselves. Although you couldn't get any closer, could you? No. The damaged U-boat carefully backing away, fearing the Sea Biscuit. U-1166 called for help. According to message, they need replacement parts from us. We should probably take them with us before meeting the crew, assuming they want us to share. Uh, okay, we're traveling over. Oh! Whoa! 
going over in a dinghy. Oscar von Spamos was welcomed by the skipper of the vessel. After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point asking about the resources he had asked for. I need to go get the parts, I think. Sorry, hang on, be right back. Frightfully embarrassed, he'd forgotten the parts. Captain Oscar von Spamos returns to the sea biscuits. Take five and hope they don't want all of them. With the parts now on board, the captain returns to the in distress U boat while zigzagging evasively. Why, yes, of course you can have our parts. There, there you go. The skipper thanked us for his help and promised to nicely mention us in his report to the headquarters. Damn right, boy! And with that, the two submarines said thank you to one another as they went upon their journeys. Who would have known if they would ever meet again? But one thing for sure, they would never forget this day. Right, now that's taken care of. Can we get back to killing stuff? Or faster, rather, faster. trying to. Haven't seen anything yet. Bap, 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 bap. There we go. Patrolling the area. <laughs> oh, incoming transmission. Finally. One of our ships has gone missing. Last known case. Oh my god. I want to sink ships. See, this is what happens. You help somebody once, and now everybody wants a slice of you. Well, our patrol's nearly over, so that's something. But I really want to sink a ship. Alarm. Oh, aircraft incoming. Finally, some juicy content. Coming straight towards us from the morning sun. This is no friendly bird, and it's coming straight towards us. Bouncing around in the morning chop. The plane has a direct target on us. Is it going to drop any bombs or spray us with gunfire? Yeah, they look like depth charges. Oh, no. Watch out. Depth charges fall from the sky, but miss the biscuit entirely. Damage Detonating report. nearby, their influence is felt through our lovely hull plating of our beautiful ship. We've got a leak on board. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're taking on water. Okay, fix things. Fix things quickly. Pause. Hang on. Oh, no. I'm panicking now. Oh, my God. All these guys have been knocked out. Gibbs here is fixing the leak. That's good. That Gibbs is fixing that leak. Okay, you, you need to wake up and you're going to become a medic so that you can help those other people not die. Captain Oscar von Spamos will be the hero of the day getting the pumps running to drain the water. Okay, leaks are fixed. Well done, lads. He got a second medic coming up, although I don't think we're going to need him. He's fixing that. Great. See, look, I'm getting good at this. Sailor stabilized. Well done. You are going to get a promotion later. There's a lot of water everywhere. I don't like this. Engine rooms are fine. Aft compartment's got a little bit of water. Oh, there's a hole here. Fix the hole! Boyance is too low to use our weapons, oh dear god. Oh no, I can hear the airplane coming back. We could dive, but that's cheating. Oh! Yeah, no, 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 that's missed. You're fine, you're fine. Right, is that? Come on, fix that hole already, boy. And there it is, the thing that's been causing me all these problems. You're going down, boy! Boys, I need these repairs done immediately. Otherwise, we're gonna have a terrible time. I can't use guns until... Oh, no, I can use the aft guns. Hang on. Get on that, boy! Here he comes. Oh, you're gonna get it! Oh, light him! Oh, yeah, reload. Go on, you do that. Um, there goes our... Oh, God, they're gonna hit. Oh, yeah, of course. Lots of leaks. Sailor's critical. We've got to get this airplane down. I can't see anything. Okay, I'm going to help people in a second. We've got some medics on board, I'm sure. I'm not very good at this. Okay, we've got water in more or less every compartment now. So we got to get this situation sorted out immediately. Oh, no. Dead people everywhere. And there's no one ever. Yes! Oh, he's smoking. Smoke this. Oh, God, more damage. Did anyone ever tell you smoking kills? I think we've lost somebody. Mate, could you could you help him? Somebody help him! But right, get down, we've got to dive, we've got to dive. Right, here's the situation. Uh, water everywhere. We've got a couple dead. We are picking them up. The medics are doing their job. But it's not looking good. Oh, no. Oh, no! He'll never know the pain that he went through because he died. Oh, we're still sinking. Okay, fix things. Okay, we've got a hole here. Fix this. He's fixing. Oh my god, we're gonna drown. Um, we have rebreathers in one of the compartments. Okay, right, evacuate, evacuate. Evacuate that room. Evacuate that room immediately. Evacuate the galley. Oh my god, we're losing everything. I'm not gonna die. We're gonna do this. You fix that bloody pipe. Flooding fast. Doors are closed. What? Oh no! Open the hatch. Uh, a rebreather. No, oh no, I'm gonna die. I've only got two compartments left. Oh no. Let's get in here. Close doors, close doors. Um, rebreathers, quickly. Okay, you've got a rebreather. Go, go, go. Damn it! U96 is being evacuated and sunk. Most of the crew didn't make it to the surface. 
Everybody drowned! I did my patrol. Didn't report in that it was all good. We half damaged an airplane that screwed me over. It may say that Oscar Von Spamos has drowned, but it is wrong. It's incorrect. I'm just missing an action. I'm sure I'll be here for the next episode. Well, that's an episode right about there. We went out in search of ships and instead found birds. Not quite as exciting as I was hoping it would be. I wanted to send a Brucey bonus into a port side, but alas, it was not meant to be this time. Maybe next time. Do stick around. We're going to be doing some more U-Boat because I like the game. Anyway, did you enjoy yourself? If you did, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions and while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and give me help. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!